Hello, this is Bob with my surf kayak at Hokilao Beach by Malakahana. Sorry, the sound of the ocean and the wind ruined my live vocal, so I'm overdubbing it. I decided to come out today in kind of a memorial to Tamayo Perry, a local lifeguard and surfer who lost his life a couple days ago when he was attacked by a shark while surfing at Goat Island, which is close to Oahu's North Shore. The spot where he lost his life can be seen from our house across Lu'ie Bay and is quite close to my home surf break of Janigators. He was surfing in deep water about a mile from here, out beyond Goat Island over there. My break is much closer to the beach on a shallow reef about 150 yards offshore. The North Shore community has come together to mourn for Tamayo's passing. It's rare that we lose a life to a shark attack. It's been a couple days after the tragedy. Despite shark warnings, I decided to get back in the water. It's ideal kayak surf weather, low tide, and very little wind. I'm 72 years old and spent my entire life in the islands, 60 of those years surfing. Over the years, I was taught to avoid shark encounters. We should not be out in the water when it's dusk or dawn, or after a big rain when the swollen mountain rivers overflow into the ocean, bringing muddy water with dead land vermin into the sea. Sharks love a lifeless snack. Yeah, we want to avoid boat harbors and places where fishermen clean and gut fish. We also avoid deep waters where the predator roams as shallow waters are harder for them to maneuver. The last shark avoidance tip is to never surf alone. This happens to be one that I don't follow very well. Sometimes I have some wing and kite surfers out with me. To avoid the deep water of Lutye, which I normally have to cross to get to my shallow surf break, I have to paddle close to the shoreline for about an eighth of a mile south. Once there, I paddle along the shallow reef to my surf lineup. It's about seven feet deep where I take off on the wave, and it suddenly gets shallow once I catch the wave about three to five feet. Growing up in the islands, I have a couple shark tales to tell. At age 13, I had just started surfing, and one of our favorite spots in Kailua was Castles, which is an outside break at the north end of the three mile wide bay. It was a mile from our house, and it was a long walk carrying our heavy longboards. About a year into surfing, after a monsoon type rainfall, a surf buddy and I decided to paddle our surfboards in a swollen canal that ran parallel to the road to the beach. After a long paddle and walk through the thick Halekoa forest, we finally made it to the beach. Our mouth dropped as we looked across the bay to see it was completely waveless, muddy chocolate water as the mouth of the canal dumped into the ocean. Across this end of the bay, there were about 20 hammerhead sharks with large dorsal fins cruising back and forth. We walked the mile back home carrying our boards and didn't surf that surf spot for at least a couple of months. Other than occasionally seeing mysterious shadows and fins in the water while we waited for waves, my only other shark occurrence was at Turtle Bay on the North Shore. My stepfather had a beach house overlooking the bay. I was about 16, a real surf kook. I surfed the outside break every weekend while we were there. It was one Sunday morning and we woke up to hear neighbors screaming and running down to the beach to the shoreline. A seven to eight foot shark had mistakenly wandered into the shallow inside reef. It was thrashing around trying to get back out to the deep water. It finally did to my surf spot. 
Again, it would be a month or so until we could go back in the water. I want to say it was out of respect, but it was really just blood-curdling fear. We also know that humans are not sharks' primary food choice. They would rather eat turtles, dolphins, and other sharks and fish than the two-legged creatures that invaded their neighborhood. So remember that sharks don't have great eyesight, and if you look like a turtle on that snazzy fluorescent surfboard, and they miss an entree, you could be dessert. So we humans really do have to respect the sharks neighborhood. We're just visitors. Like I said, this was a tragedy and a wake up call to remember that the shark rules when swimming, surfing, or kayaking in island waters. Well, I, I got a bunch of fun waves today, so now I'm heading back to my launch point. Again, paddling close to the shore's edge. So as always, be healthy, happy, and now be safe, and be forever young. Aloha. <laughs>